Welcome back to Sailing Cedra McClyde. In this episode, we head up Clarence Strait to Warm Springs Bay, where we relax for a few days and then go backcountry skiing on the mountains above the bay. Thanks so much for watching, and if you're enjoying this series, don't forget to hit subscribe so you can see the next ones coming up. Well, it's a beautiful morning and super calm, and I could have kept sleeping for a long time after getting in here at about 12 last night, though it was still light out. But the tide is running north right now, and that's where we're going, so we will go and take turns napping through the day. It's mortaring out of the mud hole, as it's called on Navionics. Um, really calm morning, super easy and entrance and exit of this place. It's like 60 feet deep still. Um, as long as you stay kind of mid course, watch out for that rock. It's super easy, very convenient stopover here in Ch the southern end of Chatham Strait. For anyone that happens to be watching this that might go to this place, there's a four foot sounding on Navionics that's most certainly wrong at the entrance. Um, I'm just coming up on it right now and it's 40 feet. So I think it meant to probably say 43 feet. Looking back at Port Malmesbury, we're back into Chatham Strait here. And there's a little bit of swell rolling in. The last forecast we heard yesterday said it was supposed to be uh, northerly today, northerly 10 knots. We're getting southerly, oh I don't know, five knots or something. Um, and a little bit of marine cloud again, kind of fog. Um, so we'll take it. Satellite is great. We're going about two and a half knots, just moseying along. Uh, I just saw a humpback surface as I'm talking. And it's just a nice day to be out in the water. We got 49 miles to the mouth of uh, Warm Springs Bay. So if hopefully we'll get a little bit more wind and hopefully it stays satellite. That'd be a real treat. And we will carry on. Got current in our favor, I think, until about noon. So that's that'll be a nice little boost to get. Well, it's a slippers and spinnaker kind of morning here, middle of Chatham Strait. We've slowly been sailing and the swell is slowly getting lower and the marine cloud is slowly burning off and we're getting to see the mountains of Baranoff Island that we're, we're after, we're coming here for, along with the hot springs. Continued nice sailing. We're getting closer and closer to the place we've been trying to get to for almost a month, Warm Springs Bay, the ultimate ski destination in early June. And the mountains are just beautiful around here. It's hard not to want to just pull over and try and anchor one of these deep inlets, but Warm Springs Bay is, looks pretty ideal with its, or is pretty ideal with its dock and a couple of good anchorages if, the, if we don't want to pay for the dock the whole time. Red Bluff Bay in the junction of Frederick Sound and Chatham Strait. Uh, we still got the spinnaker up. We're just going to take it down in a minute here as the as the sun starts to set, and it's kind of wobbling around quite a bit with these waves. But we've had a pretty good run here, kind of going four and a half to five knots for a while, and we'll be pulling into Warm Springs Bay probably a little after midnight, um, though it's still somewhat light around here then. So pretty nice day here. Ending up doing 50 or 60 miles again. So. Three 50 plus days, or 50 or 50 plus days in a row. Pretty good for our standards with uh, the fickle winds we get in these inner channels here. Unfortunately, the wind has decided to completely die, so we have kicked the engine on. We got 12 miles until the dock. So we'll be arriving uh, at around 1 a.m. or so. So, all good. Long day, but we're excited to tie up tonight. Good morning from Warm Springs Bay. 
we got here at 1 a.m. and the dock over there was all full up um, so we ended up just anchoring in this little nook right here bit deep it was around 70 feet where I dropped the hook but um, the tide dropped quite a lot so we ended up probably with a 5 to 1 scope and it was fine there's just a current that's keeping us steady but uh, we're gonna have some breakfast and then dinghy over and finally have some hot spring action and start looking at the mountains that we want to go ski on tomorrow and then once there's some spots on the dock we will move over there off the acre but this is just fine right now we're gonna go for a little reconnaissance mission to uh, mountain out the point of the bay here um, just to see what it looks like for beaching the dinghy and maybe go for a stroll in the woods just to see how bushwhacky or not it is um, but we've had a really nice day just chilling at the dock not sailing anywhere which is a change for the first time in 20 something days went in the hot springs chilling out with some folks around here lots of nice people a little bit of nice nice relaxed day We're uh, just doing a bit of reconnaissance for some possible skiing tomorrow or the next day. There's like snow patches right here at, uh, at sea level, but there's this big broad basin that we're looking at hiking up that leads to a really broad uh, slope that goes way up in the Alpine. So we may come check this out tomorrow. We'll think about it today, think, have a look from afar where the slope was, and decide. Some rather difficult beaches for landing at around here. But if we arrive at low tide, which we will in the morning, uh, we'll be able to take the engine off, carry it up, take the dinghy up, and carry it up over this stuff without too much difficulty, and just make sure it's well up in the, above the high tide line. But this looks like a doable option. It won't be without uh, hard work, but we're up for it. After all that sitting on the boat, a little patch of the snow, the river that comes down here, and at high tide, it'd go all the way up to the salmon berry up there, almost to the snow. There's some driftwood way up there at, from uh, extreme high tides. So I'm just uh, sitting here in the mouth of War Springs Bay where I could get cell phone service. Um, just making a quick phone call. My brother's. Uh, little baby boy is about to, to come into the world so I wanted to hear how that was going but it's a beautiful day out here um, super calm everywhere else except for a little breeze coming out of the bay and it's pretty nice to just come for a little quiet time out here and speak to my family okay it's about 4:45 in the morning as you can tell with the bright so the almost sunny day already in Alaska and we're uh, getting set to head up um, to an adjacent ridge or maybe a peak I guess um, next to Baranoff Lake. We're going to jump in a canoe um, after hiking up past the hot springs and carry on up to Snowline. Woo! <laughs> The canoe we found hanging out in the river, so we donated a rope from Sea Dream to it. And we're gonna borrow it for the day with our dinghy paddles. That should do the job. But we're gonna just go straight across here towards that little rock face, go through a bit of forest, and then find our way up that there rocky kind of ridge there to snow line. And I hope to have skis on and an hour, or an hour and a half or something. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Alex toler tolerating the camera in his face at five something in the morning here. Getting our nice foamy life jackets on. I found them in a hold last night, yesterday. Looking a, yeah, looking a little uh, musty, but gave him a scrub and uh, looking okay now. Hoofs and bear. Looks kind of a small guy. I wonder if it's a black bear. We're making really quick progress up here. It's super easy 
bog land, kind of sparsely treed and barely even any bushes here. So we've made a, I don't know, 150 meters, 200 meters elevation already. And we should be at snow pretty quick. Sweet, sweet Alaskan corn snow. It's just waiting to be harvested. And a little buff in the way. We'll just go to either side of it to get up here. We're just getting out into the kind of more alpine terrain here. I was looking up at that bluff and it was a little stupid. So this looks really nice. Easy going right here on rock slabs. Hey, I just see a cabin roof now down in Baranoff. So we're almost getting to the view of uh, what we've been looking at above us. And it's just nice, gentle, boggy stuff. And there's our peak. Not very high above us. Some uh, mucky ski boots a little bit. And wet shoes, but pretty, very easy going here. All right, we're getting near the top of this first uh, sub peak where I think we'll be able to put our skis on soon. It's been super easy going. Lots of nice kind of dry granite to walk up with my, my new balances on here. <laughs> Pretty sweet. 7 a.m. I think. Going good. Yeah. All right, so we've gotten to the fairly continuous snow. On the way back, we'll probably be skiing down here. But uh, there's still rock sections, so we won't worry about putting our skis and skins on just yet. We're just getting our skins on here. And we're going to find our way down this little notch. And up on that ridge, and hopefully around the back, there's a safer way up. Otherwise, we're probably just going to the base of that steep slope there. Better, better look at our ridge here. And into the adjacent basin. All right, uh, Trevor Dickinson here, Ops 1, AST 1. Just checking out the snow quality here. And it looks like it's a bit, uh, a bit soft. Corn to snow tastes a bit ripe right now, but we're gonna see what we can get up ahead. A little short, steep part here. And we just have enough snow that we'll be able to ski on down. We got this little, little thing here with a couple spice turns. Just working our way up the ridge here. Working off the boat pod. We've been on the boat for uh, months now. And we've really done no hiking or walking or nothing. It's a pretty nice little Good exercise, feeling pretty good despite having hardly done any cardio for a month and then hardly any during my schooling as well. So it's real nice. And uh, yeah, I think I'm hopeful we're gonna get to the top of this thing up here. Crazy scenery around here. Looking at our little summit ridge here, we're gonna boot pack up, get our ice axes out. Looking down the ridge we're gonna ski, looks pretty freaking sweet. Makes it so you don't really think too much about the fact that there's a three or four hundred meter cliffs just below us. The train looks a little more doable. I think you'd be able to self arrest if you had a fall. And there's this nice little hole right here, so if we slip on our little boot pack, it'll just scoop us up. It's pretty good. We're boot packing up the little summit ridge here. You know, usually we'd ski skin up here, but. A little slip on this stuff would be uh, a little exciting, more exciting than I'm looking for at this hour in the morning. Just nearing the summit of this 2,900 foot peak on Baranoff Island. Outrageous, beautiful terrain out here. And Baranoff Lake to below us here. getting set to ski down. Okay, 
Okay, my turn to uh, ski down here. Pretty fun stuff up on this ridge here. And back at our tracks. Really nice run. A couple hundred meters vert or so. And we're on to another run in a minute here. The snow is getting patchy. We're still making turns. snow line here now but we're patching a few more turns together there's a few little gully features that we're gonna be able to ski down before we uh, have to put the skis back on the bags <laughs> snow line we were able to ski until just a little bit above us here which was pretty hilarious and fantastic and we're getting our uh, skis up back on our bags and then carrying on down the couple hundred meters vert um, back to the canoe and then canoeing across the lake there over to the river mouth and back down to the dock He boots on the hot granite. Yeah. It's 11.40 and we are just about back at the lake. It's a pretty quick uh, trip down from snow line. Maybe even less than an hour. It's pretty sweet. And pretty straightforward really. Just lots of little deer trails to fall and kind of just watch that we weren't slipping. up in the canoe here. Uh, it's just about ready and we're gonna move back across there 10 or 15 minutes away. A little ferry crossing. Rolling back to the beach at uh, the end of Baranoff Lake with the river there. Alex powered us along while I take a video and talk to the camera. And there's our slope and the little wee bits of snow we were able to ski right almost to the very bottom of Fantastic. We did it! Yay! Okay, we're uh, back at the dock now. Success. We were up there about two hours ago, give or take a few. Pretty sweet. Hanging out in Baranoff Warm Springs. Pretty sweet Alaskan sunshine. They say it rains here, but I don't know. We haven't seen any rain since we got here. Coming up next time on Sailing Cedra McClyde, I give a tour around Baranoff Warm Springs before we head north to Tacots Bay. In Tacots Bay, we settle into the beautiful scenery and then bushwhack up an avalanche path to the snow line and go back at your skiing on the hills above. On the way out to Cots, we have a great encounter with a grizzly bear on shore before we head the short distance back to Warm Springs Bay because there was no wind out in the strait. Thanks so much for watching, and if you're enjoying the series, make sure you hit subscribe so you see the next one's coming up. Bye for now!